Dr. Andrew Duell, President of U.S. Boat Show Division with Informa Markets. Thank you, Andrew, for joining us. Welcome Thank to the program. Thank you, sir. Great to be here. <laughs> awesome. Well, to start, let's just kind of give everybody a background about Informa. What is Informa Markets? What do you guys do? Informa Markets is the largest uh, show production company in the world, and we've got uh, trade shows uh, for the most part, B2B shows throughout uh, throughout the world so there's probably 600 shows worldwide and there's yes. over 200 shows in the u.s okay wow. i think anybody in the boating industry knows informa it's the yeah. miami boat show you know it's the big boat shows along uh you know the coast of florida um so in your years working in the industry what has surprised you most about how the shows have changed especially in the last year well, in the last year, obviously, we, you know, with COVID, it's changed a lot, and we were we were lucky enough to, you know, we worked very hard to run Fort Lauderdale and work with the, you know, Broward County on, you know, a COVID plan, and we had the, you know, the GBAC, the industry standard plan. Uh, we worked from there and ended up with a 62-page document to be able to, mm -hmm. to run Fort Lauderdale, and then we used that also for St. Pete, and then, you know, the show we just finished two weeks ago in, in West Palm Beach, mm -hmm. so it's... Um, yeah, I think people are keen to get out and see the shows. We had a fantastic uh, show in West Palm Beach, um, strong attendance, incredibly strong boat sales. So uh, people are definitely want to come out to a show, see the boats and see what's new. Yeah, yeah, that's that's for sure. And especially in a state like Florida, where it uh, we, we do have some of the opportunities to allow these boat shows to take place. And especially if you, you know, if you get your ducks in a row and all the things are in place, it sounds like you know, you had some time to to figure it out, you know, and nobody at, at first it was kind of a what's going to happen. And, and that allowed people to give it some time and, and to figure it all out. So it's great to see, uh, you know, the, the boat shows taking place like Palm Beach. Sure. I think at first people, you know, the, this time last year, everybody thought, oh, it's all going to be live. You know, it's live events are dead. It's all going to be virtual. And I think by the, the middle of summer, people were you know, <laughs> done done with virtual, you know, that was uh -huh. about that, you know, and so. I think, you know, it's Fort Lauderdale was obviously a huge event for us um, mm -hmm. to try and get that going. It was the first really big show of any type in the U.S. So you, we, uh, you know, we're very proud that we managed to get that and make that happen and then follow it up with St. Pete in January. And now, yeah. Pete, obviously, West Palm Beach sure. and, uh, and starting next week, uh, Sarasota. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it makes me wonder, I mean, you know, I've, I've been going to boat shows for many years now. Uh, how have you seen it? Obviously, COVID's a, a kind of a different situation altogether. But throughout the years, how, what have you seen change in, in the boat show world, in the landscape? I mean, what, what's changed and, and made it for the better for the people to come to the shows? I think the presentation that the dealers and manufacturers put on is way more sophisticated than it ever used to be. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm making their space look like their showroom you know the right. same feeling professionalism you know years ago everybody would have just been in shorts and top top <laughs> sizes and now you know everybody's you know dressed the part you know to receive their customers it's it's a completely different selling environment right it's pretty crazy lisa i always think when we when you get to these boat shows and you you feel like you're like in some sort of business office or you know uh, but you're actually on like floating docks for the most part and it's just incredible what they can do with the space that they have on these floating docks and these these yeah. different areas to to put on these shows it's crazy yeah definitely interesting so andrew i'm curious to know you you mentioned this 26 page document that you worked with your your fellow cohorts and probably the counties to make sure that everybody was being safe have has anybody else in different industries reached out to you to see like how you successfully pulled off these events and get mm -hmm. your input yeah we've we've done some you know industry uh webinars you know mm -hmm. similar to that we did it with you know an industry association of show organizers um city of west palm beach has used the document that we prepared to give to other show show organizers that want to come and do something in west palm beach so they you know they describe it as a, a gold standard because it is a very comprehensive document that uh, was put together by our team right now with the upcoming suncoast boat show what do attendees need to know? Obviously, there's social distancing, bring your mask, bring your hand sanitizer. Is there anything other than that that they should be prepared for? You know, those, those are the main things that you encourage yeah. 
very everybody to wear their mask, um, social distance. Um, th those are the, the main points. Uh, we we've uh, done the cocktail barges in the other shows. We've had you know waitress service only. We'll probably be doing the same thing in Sarasota. So it you know, keeps you know, everybody wears their mask until they're seated. Then, then right. you know, go ahead and you know, drink and eat. But uh, th those are the main things. And then I think. You know, the companies will you know, limit the showings of boats to certain numbers of people, then the boats are cleaned. We obviously yep. have different cleaning protocols with the restrooms, the entrances and everything that's you know had a lot of touches. We've got extra cleaning staff on hand that are you know constantly cleaning the show. Well I think that this uh, this whole issue, you know, in the past year has made it an even better experience for customers to come and more, you know, that they are allowing these more private experiences, walking aboard the yachts, looking around, as opposed to you know hordes of people going through, uh, and it also allows just for cleanliness in general. Something that you know you probably and anybody could probably have a, a, a second take at and do better. So um, I think that in a way that there are certain benefits that come out of this for the for the viewers and for the people that stop by the show. Yep. No, I am interested in, um, you know, like you did mention earlier, we had to kind of think differently and a lot of manufacturers, a lot of dealers went online and said, okay, we're going to try this whole virtual boat show thing. Obviously, completely different experience, right? Like you don't get to sit down and have a beer with your friends and go through boats and talk about it and, and the beautiful sunshine. But just going forward, now, what do you think the industry can learn from what, what we've gone through and what mm -hmm. we've seen and like what do boat shows look like coming into 2021 and 2022 when we don't have to social distance? Well, I think you know, the industry did very well in the, in the COVID period with people realized that boating was uh, you know, an activity that could be pursued by a family and social distance. So, um, you know, the shows um, yeah, have, a, have had an issue with lack of inventory, you know, in Fort Lauderdale and St. Pete and, and in West Palm Beach because boat so, sales have been so strong. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think going forward, though, the, the new people, what's exciting to us is all the new people that are moving to Florida or new to the market. So you've got this double effect of the, the people that want to get into boating that already lived here and the new people moving down that say, well, I'm moving to Florida. I've moved my business to Florida. I can work from Florida. And they want to embrace what's great about Florida is to be out in a boat or out golfing, but the outside. So I think right. any, you know, talk to any of our exhibitors and they'll say, yeah, I saw a lot of new people, which, which is what everybody's looking for, not just to greet their same customers they already know, because they could have done that without going to the show. So it's, it's, it's right. very exciting for, for us and for all of our, uh, you know, customers. Do you see opportunity uh, from the kind of, uh, what took place with digital to even broaden the, the the viewership on your shows? I mean, do you see like an opportunity to create a virtual side of it where people can tune in and see what's happening at the actual shows? We're working on some some on on that at the moment. We're also working with our new company Viva Ticketing on how we can work with our ticketing company and our exhibitors into you know so that you know we go when it's, we can go back to touch you know wristband. But that person mm -hmm. and several different displays and I have to keep sign in at every display. So we're we're looking at a lot of new um, products that we can bring that will make the attendees experience more seamless. And it will also you know, help all of our exhibitors gather information about the attendees. Sure. Right. Lisa, what I see here is this is like it's, it's the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show as an example, but it could be an international show where you could provide people the experience of, you know, maybe tuning into the different booths at the show with webcams or just thinking outside the box here for future. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are certainly, but uh, yeah, it can, it can basically bring people from all around the world to the show if they can't make it in person, but still experience some of what you have to offer at the, at these boat shows. That's an intriguing idea. Yeah. Yeah. I see a tiered <laughs> ticketing system, you know, get your yeah. live access, get your yep. digital right. access. <laughs> And you just have somebody going around the show doing what we're doing here, but in real real life, right? Going around yeah, interviewing sure. everybody. And, you know, we've obviously we've done the TV uh, mm -hmm. show with Mons and Bell, so you know that's that's got more successful every year. Where we've done the best in show, and yeah. you know, they've covered they've covered you know the show, they've covered the lifestyle of Fort Lauderdale, they've covered you know when we've done the Yacht Chef event. So I think 
their, their viewership on that has gone up dramatically over the last three years that we've been doing that. But certainly that could be an adjunct to that, you know, sure. for people that, that can't make it. Well, right. and you, you mentioned, so, uh, you know, the, the, the excitement around boats in the past year has just completely skyrocketed. You're saying people are coming to Florida more and more because they want to be part of this, you know, experience of the lifestyle of being outside on the water. What do you see for the future of the boating industry and, and getting just this influx of people wanting to be part of this more and more? You know, how, how do you see that moving forward? No, it's exciting. I think we need to build more marinas. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's everybody be, keeping their boat? <laughs> you know, all the dry stacks where to put, put, put all the boats, you know, and obviously, you know, the waterfront homes and the sales and those have been incredibly strong. Yeah. Uh, really in our area, um, all of the uh, boat lift companies have been super busy with people replacing the lift or I need to get my boat out of a shed or off a trail and keep it behind the house so I can use it whenever the heck I want to use it. So right. I think that those guys have all been busy, but certainly it's it's going to be where are we going to keep all the boats? I think it's going to be the next challenge. Right. I know Marine Max has certainly looked into that where we've uh, partnered with Skipper Buds up north to expand our marina storage and, and we've been doing some major renovations up in the northeast to to address that and even our fort myers location we were building a ton of ton of new mm -hmm. space i mean you saw that coming a long time ago right you did and it's you know it's obviously it's been pressured with all the waterfront space being taken up you know condos and you know the best you know mm -hmm. best use of land and it's but certainly it's the challenge to uh, you know we've got a great big uh, dry stack going in here in fort lauderdale now that uh, is, is enormous but uh, i think you'll start to see more of the the big automated um dry stack facilities uh, yeah. as a lot of people perhaps go to out of an inboard boat to an outboard boat that you know mm -hmm. so they take they can take a you know 40 50 foot uh, outboard power boat and put it in a building <laughs> right <laughs> 50 feet up just slide it right well, into the spot this, this building looks like it's 200 feet high so the new one it's all of it's 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 you know, it blocks out the sun it's in <laughs> yeah incredible space incredible space well so I know that you primarily work with Informa with the U.S. boat market, but you have had your finger on the pulse of the marine industry for a, it, your entire career. You're on the board of a ton of things. I mean, just reading your profile, like, what are we going to talk to him about that in, in only a short amount of time? So, you know, Suncoast Boat Show is coming up. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that is a big deal. If anybody's in the Sarasota area, definitely check that out. It's going to be a fun event. It's always a beautiful event. What else is on your radar? What else is coming up that people should maybe keep an eye on the on the news for? What's coming out of the boat market? I think you know we're obviously looking forward to Fort Lauderdale in the fall and mm -hmm. you know, inviting back all the European customers, which we you know our attendees, which we hope will be able to travel by that time and exhibit. You know, obviously we lost you know their participation for the most part last year and so i think you know by by october november they'll all be back with us which will be great um, and then we're looking forward to the new um the new miami show which is obviously huge for us right mm -hmm. merging the two shows making the customer experience much more seamless they know where the products are and you won't have key biscayne and and you know herald plaza there'll be you know the convention center herald plaza and sea isle and then some of the super yachts at Island Gardens, so it will be a much easier format to follow. We can, you know, we're, we're taking a lot of time in placing product with like product, so mm -hmm. to, to make the the customer journey you know, as uh, frustration free as possible, mm -hmm. or, or lack of customer journey. Right? They don't have to journey <laughs> to the other show; they're they're right there, and makes it a whole lot yeah, easier. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people, you know, you get a big boat customer, but they like to go and look at the tenders. They like yeah. To so I think you know there's there's some that are, they they like to see it all and you know there's great examples of those guys throughout our industry our buyers. Well, and it's 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 you know it's it's an experience and uh, it, you can spend a whole day maybe a whole weekend of looking you know walking around oh, yeah. the big boats uh, seeing some of the large yachts but. You know, if the family's starting to get a little hot, you can hop into the, the convention center and, and check out all the outboard mm -hmm. boats and, and some of the, the tenders, as you call them, which uh, I'm sure a lot of people, that's uh, <laughs> depending on. But um, no, that it's just a great opportunity for anybody to just get out there, see what the boating lifestyle is all about and experience these boats firsthand. We certainly had a lot of that in, in the Palm Beach show that people either flew down um, 
you know, because they can't see, you know, there's not much product to see and mm -hmm. they're in right. from the West. So we had a lot of attendance from the Midwest and the Northeast. We also had, um, because Miami hadn't run, I think we had a lot of people uh, come up from Miami and some of those were doing a staycation. So they were coming up, yeah. staying in a hotel in West Palm Beach, visit the show, go to some restaurants, you know, make it the two day experience rather than try and fit everything into one day and get frustrated. So they, I think yep. they enjoyed it. They enjoyed West Palm, enjoyed the experience, and you know, a lot of people bought boats. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. it's, it's it was a great it's show. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know. Now now it's storage and service, and, yeah, and making right. sure people have fun on their Literally. boats. Yeah, <laughs> where's my boat? Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> one question I had, and I always have at any any one of these boat shows, and you kind of see it as as the boat show begins, or, or you know maybe a few days or a week before is is the organization of getting something like this together. You always see these time-lapse videos of all the yachts kind of backing in, moving in, coming into the show. What kind of logistics are needed <laughs> to have something like that happen? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a highly choreographed event, you know, but I mean, we, we work closely with all the exhibitors. They were all given a certain move in time and obviously there's there's hiccups and but we've, everybody's been doing us a long time and most of our exhibitors quite some time. So we managed to work through that and make adjustments along the way and get get everybody in. So it's yeah, cause once those boats are there, they're they're there for the show. Like a lot of times you, you right. can't leave. <laughs> no, for sure. It's you know it's uh, the inboard movement on most of the larger shows is a, is, a, is a week long process and you know the, the mm -hmm. land. So it's it's to every day's planned exactly who's coming, exactly what time they're coming. The, you know the tugboats to meet them if it's the larger boats and we've got set up crews ready on the dock they know you know which which area is setting today so it's 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 um like i said it's a choreographed event mm -hmm. it kind of makes my brain hurt just thinking about it <laughs> well we know you are a busy man and you have other meetings to run off to so we will let you go although we could probably pick your brain about the marine industry for quite some time um any other final thoughts anything else you'd like the people to know We'd love everybody come to Sarasota. Uh, we are, you know, we're going to run, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we'll have the kids fishing clinics on Saturday and Sunday oh. also, so we can go online and check that out and get the hours and the parking arrangements and uh, everybody can uh, check that out online. And we'd love to see everybody in Sarasota. Excellent. For sure. All right. Well, Mr. Duell, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you have a lovely week and mm -hmm. we will hopefully see you in Sarasota. Thanks for including us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a great day.